I know. I already <laughs> went through this already. Epic adventure into the Microsoft realm. Like seriously. There we go. What have I got myself into? I don't have a start button. Whoops. See, that's what happens when you're freaking... Hello, Internet. This is Gix, and uh, you're watching Dark Souls. I was going to call this a you're watching a Let's Play video, but like I'm not... This is Dark Souls we're talking about, and um, I'm not comfortable uh, committing to the idea of doing a Let's Play series of this game, because I don't even think that I'm capable of um, winning this thing, like beating the game and going through the story and stuff like that. Which is fine, because to me, I guess like a Let's Play series is mostly to entice people to play it and to show you uh, my experiences playing those games. And to be quite frank, I hardly ever finish games that I start, except for maybe um, like Diablo games and uh, a couple of RPGs like the Elder Scrolls. I tend to play them um, to the very end. But uh, Dark Souls is a different deal. Like I've already played Dark Souls on the PlayStation 3. This is, as you can see by the moving cursor, is a uh, is the PC Prepare to Die edition? So it's got some extra DLC in there somewhere. Um, I don't know if I will be able to be near that content because this game is brutal. And uh, I was raging about the controls on the PlayStation Three, and um, something tells me I'm going to rage on the controls on the PC version because it's a bad port, apparently. Uh, but the way I see it is keyboard and mouse is probably the best way for me to play it, even if it's the worst thing to do, like, the worst thing possible for this type of game, I'm thinking. Because I don't understand controllers, uh, unless you're playing, like, an arcade game, like a, like a fighter game, like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat or, like, a platformer like Mario or... Uh, Sonic, like I don't understand how one would prefer. I'm just, I guess, one of those guys. I wouldn't necessarily be one of those guys who insult the console gamers, but um, I just don't understand you at all. So, um, just to prevent anybody, like if I end up putting this on YouTube, um, don't talk to me about using a controller, it's not gonna get anywhere, and it, to me, that's just spam. Uh, but you can already tell that I had some difficulties just trying to get this set up because um, like there's no press button or start button to press and uh, this is it here oh this is gonna be terrible uh, another reason why uh, yeah I don't want to call this a, a let's play series because I, I like I don't want to commit to the idea because I, I don't think I can finish this game or remotely come close to it. But I'm just going to share my experiences with the game, because I'm actually curious to play through the game, uh, at least as far as I can go, which is probably not long, because this game is hard. And um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I'm probably just going to use like a, you know, screw it, let's play Dark Soul type of mood or attitude towards this series of videos, if it ever turns out to be a series. Uh, people have been curious to see how I would play the game and how I would feel about it. So this is it. This is for you guys. And it's actually for me because I want to see how the game pans out if I actually use a control uh, uh, setup that I would probably be more comfortable with. I'm not, I'm not pretending that the PC setup is optimized uh. in any way. Oh, 
Like, already I'm having problems. Okay, there we go. Okay, well that's the format that I used to upload, so yeah. I don't need this. Motion blur, I don't need that. Because the idea is to... What the hell is this? Will it do anything? Alright! Change, yes. Oh god, where's the cursor? I lost the cursor! Okay, now I turn into shitty mode. Alright. By shitty, I mean I lost a cursor and I'm using the arrow keys. So that's fun! Um, I already did some research about which key to press to do what. I'm still gonna fumble. Uh, I'm gonna go here just to the hell of it. Yeah, um... There's a way to... Scroll... I for mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait, I don't know how. Insert, no. So I'm stuck, so that's fine. That's backspace. So, um, let's just screw it. Let's go in. Uh, it's visible. Until the flame is visible and dragon invisible. Well, the dragon is invisible. I don't see it. I don't even see the dragon at all. Is there supposed to be a dragon? From one understanding, this does nothing. So that's a good start, so I'm gonna do that, I guess. Uh, vibration? Since I have none, I don't think my keyboard will jump at me, so that's... That's always good to have. Why is there an option to have the HUD on? Show blood, yes, please. Um, music, that actually sounds pretty nice. Join leaderboard? No. Toggle auto lock on. I'm probably gonna use that, so... Okay. Oh wait, what? How does this thing even work? Okay, so, new game. Uh... Yeah, it's fine. Thank you, I guess. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay. Um, like I said, I already played this on the PlayStation. Barely, but it's... Uh, do I press enter to... Oh god, how do you type? Oh, okay. What? Really? Okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Um, oh my guy. Or do I have to click on that and select? Okay, yeah. Mail. And a class. Now, I remember trying out the thief. Which, you gotta be honest, like, this looks badass, but, like, I don't think I can actually do anything with that class. Uh, range but weak with magic. See, I'm thinking... I want to, but I know that I can't play that. Deprived, yeah, that's totally not my style. Uh, this should be interesting as well. Like, they've got some cool-looking classes, and I'm thinking, like... Just by reading this simple description, to me, it's appealing. Uh, I'm gonna go, I guess, with the thief again. Can I use bows and arrows as a thief? I'm assuming I can. Assuming as I can find one. Alright, I'll play a thief. And, uh... I know that these do not work at all, because I played that, uh... 
from the PlayStation, so... Binoculars are such a tease. Restore HP and status. Is it a consumable? I have one of those already because equip initial equip for Thief, yeah. Special trade, tribal ring. Ooh. I'm actually gonna go with that. Because this does not seem to be. I mean, these things feel like um, consumables. I'm gonna try that. Physique. Ah, oh, and this is where you can. Okay, so. I'm actually very slim. And for the face. I can actually customize, can I? I think I can. Just don't know how. Okay, can I rotate? I don't it tells me to rotate using keys I don't know that I have, so sure. Uh I could probably be store and mobile. Thinking Far East Traveler. Looks happy though. And enjoy happy faces. Oh, this is where you come. Okay. Of course, he's got black hair on a black background, so you can't see much. At least I can't. Uh, semi long looks not that. Doesn't look that bad. I think short will probably be. that you'll see anything on my character's face. Um, unless that's just a tease. I don't remember starting with that kind of equipment. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, are you okay? No, I want to customize. This is where, yes. Okay. Uh, he's a little too young for my taste. So, let's see. Of course, his skin color changes. Wait. What? The slider is... okay. This is confusing, because it's got... features... okay. This is strong. And the other one here is form... okay, it's... Ugh. I'm a man! Alright, I'm gonna go here and then. I suppose. Ah, this is the other slider. Which does nothing! At least I don't see anything. I'm just gonna keep it same. I guess? Oh god. That did nothing. Okay. That reset. It's confusing. Wait, let's see. Yeah, let's go with that, I guess. I am in customize. How is that a button? Oh, okay. Uh, and 
tire? Oh, as it has everything? No. I have no idea. Okay, that's just... What the hell am I doing? How to rotate the dude, though? Wait. Oh, the cursor still ma- Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I think I have an invisible cursor here. Uh... Oh, god. Trying to make something look normal. And... I don't think my guy is happy, so... I don't want to exaggerate it too much, but at the same time, I don't want to get depressed. Something tells me this game... This game has a very depressive, um... Environment, I feel like uh, atmosphere. Uh, a lot of people just feel dead, but that's probably the shtick of it. I'm not gonna criticize the game for that, especially from the get go. Like, I haven't even started playing the game. Um, I'm ruining the face, am I? Oh, okay, it's got this weird RGB thing going on. Okay, so blue, not that I'll be able to see much. Um, sure, why not? Nose! Give me a nose. Oh god, not that big. I can't see it from the side! Because it's telling me to use the right stick, which I don't... I'm trying to think of, like, maybe the numpad does it? I'm hitting random keys on the keyboard now, just to see if it'll trigger something. No. Alright. Arrow keys are... Well, I'm using the arrow keys to do this, so... Uh, I'm just gonna have to guess, I guess. Nose placement. I suppose he looks normal, so cheeks... Okay, I'm gonna give him cheeks. Okay. Nah, he's fine with the mouth, I think. The jaw, though. Oh, okay. see anything. Saved? Okay, so... Did he? I suppose he did, okay, so... Accept? I think so? I love it when games ask me, are you sure? And I'm like, uh... 
no. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty lords ruled apart their stone skins. The witches ruled great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Cool. Now, am I the only one who thinks like Nito is the first guy to die ever? And uh, from what I understand from the cinematic, and I'm thinking. How terrible would that be to be the first guy to die? Like, everybody would just laugh at you, right? Like some kind of, uh, yes, new... Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land... The undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate.
Hey. So he just dumps a corpse here. 